Hello and welcome to uh, Math 152, Global Arts Math Part 2. I am Professor Watts and I'm going to make this short video um, going over how to, um, here, let me minimize this, uh, just going over some basics of the course. Um, I'll try to keep it short because I know you don't want to listen to a long video. Um, but there's some important, important things that I want to point out, and I just want to kind of give you a uh, tour of the course. So when you register for um, the course using my Open Math Mom, this is what you should see. So you'll have this welcome announcement, and you should definitely read through that. And I'm assuming since you are watching this video that you followed the directions and clicked on the do this first folder. But before I go there, I want to mention a little disclaimer. This is my first time, or well, I'm fairly new. This is my first semester using my open math. And it is very likely that I have mistakes in there. Um, so please be kind and just shoot me an email and let me know if there's anything that seems amiss. Um, all right, so do this first. Um, it says to post your bio, and to do that, you will click on auto, autobiographies. And right now, the course hasn't started, so there aren't any, but if you click add new thread, then you can add one. Up in here, we have the what's called the breadcrumb, um, because, you know, it's like little breadcrumbs to follow where you've been. So right now we're on forum topics, so if I want to go back to where I was, you can use the back button, but it's better to click um, on the one previous. Next, you're supposed to read the syllabus, which is found in course information, and then you'll take the syllabus quiz. Um, after that, there's a, your first assignment, um, and, and that's just getting you familiar with how you put answers in my open math. And there's some information about the grade book. So we'll go back to Math 152 online and go to the course information folder. And um, <clears throat> the textbook, as you already know now, is uh, open source. So it's completely free if you um, view it on the internet. Or you can download it for your Kindle or iPad. <clears throat> you can buy a printed copy of the book. I don't recommend that you do just because um, we're not using the entire book and um, I feel like anything that you want you can just print off yourself. Uh, but you can um, pay them to print it off for you. It'll take about 10 days and it doesn't cost a whole lot of money. It's probably, if you're going to print the whole thing, it's cheaper to have them do it than to do it yourself. unless you have some place where you can go print for free. Um, the units, and this is only an eight week class, so the units run about two weeks long. Um, normally they run, would run about four weeks long, so it's, it's very fast paced. And we officially begin on March 17th, um, but if you're here early, that's great. And I am just trying to stay um, a little bit ahead of you guys on the material, so um, unit one is mostly ready and um, it'll be all the way ready by March 17th, um, but you can definitely do the first part of unit one. And then unit two, um, I haven't even begun yet to <laughs> make, I, I'm basically making this course from scratch. So um, I'm just trying to stay a little bit ahead of you guys on that. So if I do get anything open or ready early, I'll make sure I open it up for you guys too. Um, instructor information has everything you need to know about me, where my office is, my office hours, my phone number, and my email. Now my office hours, I'm in my office, but I don't want you to feel that just because you're taking this online course that you can't come talk to me. You can come talk to me. Um, this is the only other thing we need to use Blackboard for. So if you're on Blackboard and um, so here's basically all you'll see. Let me turn this off. And we click on virtual office hours. 
Um, the one with the little purple icon is the one that's available and I made a session just for this video so I could show you. So um, you click on it then you click launch room and then you got to save this thing somewhere. I just put it in downloads. Yep. And then open it. You're going to need some Java stuff. Uh, Java, it might ask you for Java updates. It'll tell you if there's stuff that is missing. Um, so it does take about a minute to get this going. And then you got to tell it it's okay to run. And it's going to start popping up now. And here it is. So I just want to show you quickly um, that there's things we can do here. We have, um, if you have a microphone, well, right now it's not letting me um, use my camera because it's already being used in another program. But if you have a webcam and a microphone, then we can see each other and talk to each other. But if you don't have those things, you can um, chat down here, chat in the chat box. And if you want to, you know, ask you some problems, you know, we can write on the whiteboard. So um, we have, you know, we can do basically everything we can do in a face-to-face -face office. So please take advantage of those office hours. One more thing is um, sometimes I'm running late from my class and I end up being a little bit late for office hours. So um, just shoot me an email saying that you're waiting for me and I'll make sure to get on there for you. All right, go back to 152. All right, um, Ask Professor Watts is a little link that'll take you to a forum. And if you have any questions about the course, um, maybe I made a mistake somewhere and you want to let me know, this is a good place to add it. If it's something personal, like um, about your grade or um, an illness you're having, then you probably want to email that to me. All right, so that's it for course information. Go back to the Math 152. And uh, once you've gone through all that stuff, you click on Unit 1 and you're going to begin the course material. So um, Unit 1 has two parts to it. The Art of Problem Solving and a bit of Algebra. Now you see when I click on a bit of Algebra there's nothing there because I'm still working on that. I need a little construction sign. But this one's already free to go and um, there's plenty here to keep you busy until I get <laughs> the other one up and running which will be up and running by the, the 17th. Um, okay, so in here you have um, notes that you want to, here, let me see. Open these up. Here are the notes that I recommend that you print off, and then you're going to watch these videos, and you'll fill in those notes as you're watching the video. And once you watch the video, then um, try the practice problems. So here's um, what the homework looks like. So you bring down a little drop men menu and then you click submit. And it'll tell you that you're wrong. Um, so you can reattempt it. Try again. If it's not one, it must be the other, right? And then it'll tell you you got one out of one. And then you go to question two and so on and so forth. Um, and then at the end here, there's a tricky problem group activity. And I can't uh, sign groups until I have um, everybody in the class. Um, so that'll probably be a couple days after the class starts, I can assign groups. So um, here's everything about that, the rubric, the tricky questions, and you won't know which one you're in until you get the group assignments and a place to upload the actual file. Um, so this is more or less what each unit is going to look like. Um, you have your videos and your practice problems and then um, at the end there might be an extra assignment like there is here. Um, if you just want to um, 
you know, go to the discussions, you click on forums, and here are all the different forums we have. Um, just ignore, <laughs> actually, these are all going to be gone. Those are going to be changed. So um, the first two are the only ones that are relevant right now. And um, there's a calendar here. And there's not, oh, let me skip another month here. All right, well, it's not showing anything now because the, um, well, not all the due dates are in, but it'll come up in different colors and then you can click and see what's new. And the grade book is just going to tell me that uh, I'm not a student and they're correct about that. Um, and then anytime you need some help, there's help using my open math. Um, so here's a whole bunch of information. Um, and if that doesn't get your answer, then post your, post your question up to the uh, discussion board. Um, I think that's everything, but uh, if anything else comes up, I will certainly um, add that somewhere to the course. All right. Thank you.